Hey folks, Dr. Brett Brennan here with LVP Podiatry. Uh, last week I posted a video discussing hammer toes and some of the comments suggested that I do a video on uh, a painful fifth toe bunion, so that's what we're gonna talk about today. The technical name for that is a Taylor's bunion. Today we're gonna cover the what is a Taylor's bunion, how do we fix a Taylor's bunion, and then when can we get back to our activities after the correction of a Taylor's bunionectomy. So there's two types of Taylor's bunions that I encounter most frequently. Uh, one is actually a curvature in the fifth metatarsal, which we're looking at right here. As you can see, instead of this bone being nice and straight like the fourth bone, it has a nice curvature to it. The way to fix this one is a little bit more complex. And what I do is actually make a, a V-shaped cut in this bone like so, and take out this piece of bone. When I do so, it allows me to close down the angle on that bone and put a little screw across the osteotomy site. The other type of Taylor's bunion, which we're going to move to over here, is actually just a kind of a growth of the bone on the side of the fifth metatarsal. This is a much simpler procedure. It's only about a one and a half centimeter incision that I just go in and shave off the side of this bone, giving the foot a more aesthetically uh, appealing appearance and also allows you to fit into shoes a little bit better. Uh, both of these, uh, you can weight bear immediately after your surgery at one day. You are in a protected uh, weight bearing boot. And the return to shoes is a little bit different uh, for each procedure. For the first one we talked about, about four weeks you'll be back into a shoe because of the added hardware to the procedure. Uh, with the second uh, one we discussed, uh, back into shoes at about two weeks. With both uh, scenarios, we suggest wearing orthotics uh, just to help support the foot and take some of the pressure off that fifth metatarsal. If you find yourself to have a Taylor's bunion or a painful bump on the outside of your foot, give us a call at Healthy Feet Podiatry. We'd be happy to help you out and discuss which uh, category you would fall into. Also, if there's something you would like to uh, hear about or learn about, leave a comment below and we'd be uh, happy to feature you on the next uh, episode of Chalk Talk. Thanks.